Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm a family nurse practitioner and one of the MP instructors here at SMNP Reviews. I spent over two years of my FMP career in the urgent care setting and I'm so excited to talk with you about pediatric immunizations today. We are going to discuss a few basics and if you would like to dive deeper into this topic, you should check out one of our review courses. We actually have an excellent tip sheet within the course specific to pediatric vaccines. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can continue to stay up to date on our latest videos. We will begin by looking at each individual vaccine and we'll walk through the most pertinent information for exam and clinical purposes. Let's break each vaccine down into the type of vaccine, the number of doses, and the age it is given. Keep in mind, we are basing the knowledge on the most up-to-date CDC recommendations. And don't forget, recommendations can always change. Okay, let's start right where infants start at birth. First up is hepatitis B or hep B as we like to call it. Now this is a three dose series with the first dose recommended at birth. Dose two is typically given at one to two months with the third dose recommended at six to 18 months. The rotavirus is another vaccine that is given early in infancy that protects against a virus that can cause some nasty GI symptoms. Now, there are two main options, the Rotarix, which is a two-dose series at ages two and four months, or Rotatec, a three-dose series at ages two, four, and six months. Now, at ages two, four, six, 15 to 18 months, and four to six years, the diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis vaccine is given. The DTAP, as we often reference it, is a five-dose series. Now, quick pop quiz question. What's the difference between DTAP and Tdap? Well, DTAP is for the little ones. Tdap is for the older kids and adults, and we start giving that one at age 11. Now, before we move on, I want to mention that the RSV immunization is now included in the CDC schedule, but eligibility depends on whether the mother was vaccinated during pregnancy. And this is technically a monoclonal antibody, not a vaccine, and it is reserved for specific populations. So we won't dive into that today. Haemophilus influenza type B, or HIV, is most commonly given as a four-dose series. This series is mostly given at ages two, four, and six months, with a booster at age 12 to 15 months. Now, the HIV vaccine helps prevent what dangerous condition? That's right, if you said epiglottitis. Now, the pneumococcal conjugate, or PCV15, or PCV20, is a four-dose series recommended at two, four, six, and 12 to 15 months. The IPV or inactivated polio is a four-dose series given at two, four, and six to 18 months and four to six years. Now, what are the two live vaccines we give during childhood? Well, if you said MMR and varicella, you are correct. The measles, mumps, and rubella, or MMR, is a two-dose series administered at 12 to 15 months and four to six years. Next up, there's the varicella, better known as the chickenpox vaccine. Well, this is a two-dose series administered at 12 to 15 months and again at four to six years. Now, many practices will give the MMR and the varicella in a single vaccine known as the MMRV. Hepatitis A, or Hep A, is a two-dose series that is recommended at 12 to 23 months. A big part of administration of this vaccine is that the doses need to be spaced six months apart. The human papillomavirus, or HPV vaccine, also known as Gardasil 9, is a two- or three-dose series, dependent upon the age it is administered. Now, if you start the series before the 15th birthday, even as early as age 9, it's a two-dose series. Then, after age 15, it becomes a three-dose series. But either way, doses are spaced at least six months apart. The meningococcal ACWY is a two-dose series given around 11 to 12 years old and again at age 16. 
There's another meningococcal vaccine called the serogroup B, which covers a different strain of meningitis. And this is typically given to college-aged adolescents as a two-dose series. The flu vaccine is approved for ages six months and older. Kids under nine may need two doses only. For the first season, they get the vaccine spaced four weeks apart. But after that, it's just one dose each year, like everyone else. And remember, no live flu vaccines for children under two. Now let's do a practice question. A four-month-old is brought into the clinic by their parent for a well-child check, including routine vaccines. What immunizations should be given at this visit? Is it A, rotavirus, DTaP, HIV, pneumococcal, and IPV, B, Hep B, rotavirus, DTaP, pneumococcal, and IPV, option C, DTaP, HIV, and hepatitis B, or D, Tdap, and meningococcal? Well, the correct answer is A, rotavirus, DTaP, HIV, pneumococcal, and IPV. According to the CDC guidelines, these are all part of the recommended vaccines for a four-month-old who is on schedule for routine vaccines. Here are my references for this content today. Now, I know this can seem like a lot of information, but I hope this video helps you grasp the basics of the routine pediatric vaccines. If you're interested in learning more about how to pass boards and other exam topics, definitely check out our review courses. And if you're looking for a wonderful, free community of students prepping just like you, make sure to join our Facebook group. These will be linked in the description. You are so close to becoming a real deal NP. Make sure to check out our other videos. We believe with the right preparation, you can totally pass your boards. We are rooting for you here at SMNP Reviews.